Hey guys, it's Jimbo8304 here, and welcome to my next and probably one of my most requested Ninjago Legacy comparisons. Today we're going to be comparing set 70668J Stormfighter to set 9442, also J Stormfighter. Um, look, some quick facts about these sets. This one was released in 2019 for $39.99 and it had 490 pieces. This one was released in 2012 for $24.99 and had 242 pieces. So, that'll be part of our value category, which is our first category we'll talk about here. And then there's also playability, part usage, overall look, and the opinion and final score category. So, we'll take a look at each of those and uh, we'll determine which Stormfighter is the best. I'm sure you guys have your own opinions and feel free to leave those in the comment section. And, um, yeah, let's get on with this comparison. So, we're, we'll start with the 2019 Legacy Edition of the J Storm Fighter for value. So, this set came with 490 pieces, 4 minifigs, none of which are exclusive, I believe. Py anyway, so, none of the figures here are exclusive. Pythor is the least common coming in 2 sets. Uh, Lasha here comes in 3. Nia comes in 3 as well. Or, Nia comes in 4 sets, actually, and Jay comes in... One, two, three sets as well. So, Pythor is the hardest to find figure, and probably this is probably the best set to get him in because it's forty dollars, not eighty five dollars. So, I say the figure selection here is pretty decent. It could be better. There sh maybe could have been one more snake or something like that. But overall, good, uh, good figure selection and good value for that. On the right here, we have the nine four four two J Stormfighter. Uh, 242 pieces for $25. The price for part's a little, little rough, but, um, I wish it would have been, like, 20 bucks, then it would have been better. But I can understand with the two big pieces and the four swords and the, the cockpit there, that, and those two tail wings in the back and the two smaller swords, that the price had to be bumped up a little bit. And, but you do only get two minifigs, which is a, a little bit of a bummer. I wish you would have gotten more. Jay and Snappa are not the most common minifigs throughout the 2012 line, but they're not the least common either. They Jay comes in a variety of sets, and so does Snappa. Um, so I'm gonna have to give you the value category to the uh, the new nine or seven of six six eight Jay Stormfighter because four figures, one of which is harder to find. The other three are semi uncommonish, but they're still you can still find them pretty easily, but. I, and you also get a better price for piece ratio being under that 10 cents. I think it's at like 8 cents or something like that because almost 500 parts for 40 bucks. So about 8 cents. Overall value for this one, this one wins. Our next category for this review is playability. So we will start with the 2012 Stormfighter. So I'll just stick this stuff to the side here. But... There's really not that much playability here on this one. There's no spring-loaded shooters. There's no stud shooters. There's no flick-fire missiles. There's nothing like that. There's one main playability feature, and that is to push this open and the wings will fold out. So that's the main feature of this. I think it looks really good when you do that. Let's see if I can get you a front-on angle of that while, the wing, while they fold out like that. So I think that's a really cool feature. I'm glad they were able to include that. If they didn't include that, this set just would not be that great to me in my opinion. But as for the other really play feature in quotation marks here, you can stick Jay inside the cockpit and he'll just and he can sit there and pilot the sword fighter comfortably. He does not come with his armor piece in this set, which uh I guess is okay. But I wish it would have come with the armor piece cuz then it would have been a, a better figure and probably a better value too. But there's just not much playability with this one, so it's a it's gonna be a hard hard way for this one to win if it doesn't have much playability at all. As for the new Stormfighter here, there's there's so much. Let's uh I guess we can start with the wing expansion feature. So let's see if I can get this flat on the ground like that, move everything out of the way. So that way you guys can see when I pull this level this lever for forward and it blends in really nice which we'll talk about that when we get to part usage when we pull this forward the wings fold out like that and i think that's great it looks great i like the, the use of these types of swords better than the just regular sh um straighter ones because i think it gives it a more dynamic look in my opinion but 
Overall, I think it looks good. You do have some flick fire missiles. If you do not like the look of those, you can just pull those out and they don't bother. They did good with the color choices and there is another hidden playability feature. I mean, I guess if you want to call it one. So, if you take Jay's Nunchucks with Lightning here, this is um, a thing that LEGO doesn't really say you can do, but I figured it out because it, it it's just an empty space. You can fold his J seat down and stick the Nunchucks of Lightning in there and fold the seat back up, and then Jay can pilot the Stormfighter. Sorry about that noise. A pen just fell, but... Jay can sit in the Stormfighter comfortably. You can close the cockpit. That looks nice. And these things can move up and down as well. Um, not really a feature, playability feature, I guess. But if you want to have a different look for the Stormfighter, um, I guess that's a thing. These can also move up and or these can move down, really, because you can't move them up. But overall, I think this one is going to get the win for playability. As I just shot a spring-loaded shooter at my hand, and that kind of made me jump a little bit. But this one gets the win for playability. Next up, we are going to take a look at the part usage category. So, we'll start with the uh, with the 2012 part, um, 2012 Stormfighter here. So, for the wings, it's mainly com built off of one big piece being this giant um, angled wedge plate right here, which I think that's fine. Um, I don't have a problem with that. They did that for the for the new Stormfighter as well, but I wish they would have made the wings a little bit. Um, I guess bigger to. I understand why they didn't do that to save on budget, but I just don't don't really like the way it looks with the uh, like the blue on as the base. I wish it would have been black like the new one, but we'll talk about that when we get to the new one. The cockpit is fine, same piece on both sets, no big difference really. I like the use of this engine piece back here and the uh, these pe these tail fins back here. I really appreciate how they they use that piece in dark blue, which is nice. Um, there's not really much else. The, uh, the, the blades or the wings, I guess, um, they are, they're fine. They're not great, but they're fine. And I think that's about it for part usage for this one. There's not really much. Um, I like the use of this wheel at the back for the, for the jet boosters. I like how they use a rubber band to get the, uh, the wings to function the way they do. So let's just take a look at that from the back. Let me see if I can... There you go. I didn't do it quite right because uh, my hand was covering where the wing was going to come out, but you get the idea. I do like how they use the the green and um, the green and red lights up there, and then the gold tiles around the side as well. I like how they use these pieces, which I think looks better than what they did for the new one. But that's because they're kind of fixed in one position and they won't move automatically unless you actually move them yourself, which is good. There's also this thing, this shrine. It looks fine. Nothing great. It's uh, It holds the Fangfire staff, and that's all it's really designed for. It can also hold um, Snappa's sword if you don't want to have the staff on there and you want to have him holding the staff or Jay get away with the staff or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Another problem I have with the set is that it didn't come with the Nunchucks of Lightning, which I can understand why it didn't because the Nunchucks of Lightning transform into that. But still, it should have been able to, uh, to include them to have off to the side when it's in the Stormfighter mode. All right, let's pull this one over here so we can take a closer look at it. This one has a lot of great part usage. I do appreciate how they built the the um, the cockpit like this. They just did it upside down and they used the hinge pieces in there. And there is no really awkward color showing on this one. There's a bunch of white and stuff showing on that. It shows a little bit, but it's not really noticeable. There's also some dark tan that I don't think looks all that great. But the spring-loaded shooters look fine as well. They can You can use them as like a jet boost if you don't want them to be spring-loaded shooters. I mean, you don't have to launch them if you don't want to. It's not a problem. They also use the same tail piece, this time in regular blue, which I think the dark blue works a little bit better. I like the dark blue and regular blue combination. This one does not have very much dark blue, if any at all. This one also has these uh, these lightning pieces, which are really cool, and uh, as I tap the cockpit and probably scratch it. I like how the seat is built and the control stick and the panel is up here. They look good. I like how they use these uh, these more curvy swords for the for the wings. I think they look fine. I like the use of the blue Nexonite shields. They look great as that. They use a bunch of these gold ingot bars um, around the edges and stuff, which looks fine. And I really appreciate the use of that. They use the black ones over here to give more detailing. I like the, the stickers here. They look fine. This one is not that great. I think it looks stupid. It looks over-cartoonified, in my opinion, but... 
That's me. I like this sticker on this side, and it's the opposite on the other side, and I just shot another spring loaded shooter at myself. Way to go. But I do like uh, how this is hidden. It doesn't really stand out as like a giant red handle or something like that. It doesn't do that, which I appreciate. Again, these things I don't really like on here, but I wish they would have been fixed into one spot so that way you couldn't move them at all. But I guess it's a good playability feature for them to have on this set. Again, the wings are built off of one large piece, this time in black, which I think looks a little bit better. Obviously, it's based off of something different, so you can't really say. Um, something I wish they could have done is covered this up for when it's in, uh, it's in its landed mode. I understand that they could probably couldn't do that, and they probably tried, but when it's... Um, when it's uh, in flight mode, it looks better because it's not the handle is not sticking up and it's covered. I wish they would have covered off the sides right here. That would have been nice as well. But for the part usage, I'm definitely going to have to give that one to the new Stormfighter. Also, I didn't talk about this little shrine. I think it looks fine. I like they included the nunchucks of lightning with this one, as I, as I mentioned before. And I think the nunchucks of lightning look great with that new uh, dragon handle piece that they introduced last year with the hunted sets. And I hope they find more great uses for that in the future. So as for the overall look, you guys know which one this is going to go to. It's going to go to the to the new Stormfighter, the 70668 Stormfighter. It has so much better detailing, and the way they did the way they did the cockpit and with the seat. And all the greebling and stuff on the wings. I think that looks so much better than the sleek design they were going for on the 2012 version. The 2012 version is by no means bad and probably way ahead of its time, in my opinion. It's probably That could probably pass for a 2014-2015 set, in my opinion. But I think the new Stormfighter knows what it was doing. It has a lot of great greebling details on it. And it looks nice. It I like the blue and the blue and black color scheme. I wish they would have used some dark blue on it as well, but I can understand why they didn't. Maybe some translucent blue as well. They could have covered up some of the, the hidden gaps a little bit better, but it's fine. Nothing really big there. Um, the 2012 version does cover up all the gaps and stuff really nice. I like how they integrated the play feature better, but it's, it is what it is. The 2019 version wins. So, the 2019 version wins with a final score of 4-0. to zero. No surprise there, not at all. It's it's just better. It's so much better. There's no refuting that. If you guys like the 2012 version better, that's fine. I think the minifigs are so much better in this set, considering you get four compared to only two. The value is there, the design is there, the look is there. It, it fits in. If you can get this set for even cheaper, good for you, get that. For like thirty four dollars or thirty bucks or whatever twenty percent whatever twenty percent off is it's probably like thirty two dollars or something like that. If you can find the the old Stormfighter for cheap for like fifteen twenty dollars complete, I would get that. That's not a bad deal considering it retail for for twenty five dollars. It has two hundred forty two pieces. So make sure you look at on eBay or Bricklink to make sure you know what you're buying and make sure it, it is complete or if it comes with a box or instructions or not. The instructions are available online, but still. So. This one gets the win, the 70668. That's my opinion. I'm sticking to it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next video. This is Jimblade8304, signing off. Bye.